Hey, hey you. Hey, listen. Over here. Hey, come here. So, you want to learn how to make some coke? Huh? Well, hey, meet me over by the old bridge, and I'll show you a thing or two. All right, hey there, folks. My name's Papa Cheddar, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some coke here in Vintage Story. We're here in my creative world, but hey, let's dive right in. We're going to go over everything. We got some really crazy stuff. We do a lot of science. It's going to be really neat. All right, guys. Sorry about that intro. I really couldn't resist. But Coke is what we're talking about, and Coke ovens more in particular. What do we need to make them? How do we do it? And, uh, you know, what kind of purpose does it serve? So first off, I guess let's start with uh, the description from the wiki. So it says, Coke is a naturally occurring fuel source manufactured by burning coal in an airtight environment. Both coke and charcoal are accepted fuels for making steel. Thus, coke provides an alternative fuel source, not better or worse than charcoal. And plus, it's fun to say. So alrighty, let's, uh, let's take a look at what we got here. So we're comparing us some charcoal and some coke. So you can see charcoal burns at 1300 degrees Celsius for 40 seconds and coke is 1350 degrees Celsius for 40 seconds. You can, uh, let me open the HUD here. See, they're both right here. Both got the carbon pigment of black and everything. But uh, so coke is what we're gonna make. Charcoal is not used to do it, but our primary resource in making that is gonna be this, fire clay. So fire clay can be dug up all around the world. It is rarer than the blue clay. The blue clay will not work for what we're trying to accomplish. Now to make coke, you can use two different materials. You can either use brown coal or black coal. You can see their stats right here. Brown coal is 1100 degrees Celsius for 77 seconds and black coal is 1200 degrees for 84 seconds. We have them both our fancy dancy little chests here. Brown coal is also called lignite. You can see there in the tool tip and black coal is also called bituminous coal. Now, of course, to make the Coke oven, it is a very specific recipe that you need to follow, but you can make it out of these four different blocks. You have the fire clay bricks, which uh, the recipe is just four fire clay stacked together right here. You get one of these bad boys, the fire clay brick, which then you'll cook them and make it into fire clay bricks. Then you have the refactory bricks tier one. So again, you use two clay uh, fire clay, then you have crushed quartz and crushed bauxite. Now all of these crushed things, you are going to need a pulverizer to make them. Uh, we're not gonna necessarily go into pulverizers too terribly much, but that is absolutely a requirement in order to make these refractory bricks. Um, you have refractory bricks tier two, which again, you have the fire clay, crushed quartz, bauxite, and then olivine as well. And then for tier three, you have the fire clay, crushed quartz, crushed bauxite, crushed olivine, and then crushed ilmenite, with which the crushed ilmenite, I do believe you need, uh, I, it's, I think it's steel heads, steel caps on your pulverizer. If not steel, then iron, but it's one of the above. Um, so this is the tier three is gonna be your limiting factor. However, it, it is worth saying that for the Coke oven, any of these bricks will work. It just really depends on the resources that you have. And regardless of which bricks you choose to use, they will not take any damage. So in my honest opinion, the fire clay bricks is going to be the easiest route you can go. That way you can skip all of these refractory bricks and you don't need a pulverizer for anything. And all you're gonna have to worry about is making the fire clay into the fire clay brick raw here. But of course it does depend on the resources that are available. So once you have made your fire clay bricks, you're gonna need to cook them up in the, in the fire pits here. So all the bricks will cook at 800 degrees. You can use peat or charcoal for this or the other coals but you cannot use any firewood. So firewood will not cook the bricks up for you. After you got your bricks cooked for the fire clay, you're gonna arrange them in this pattern in your crafting menu. You can see we have the eight fire bricks and one mortar. So this is gonna be the standard recipe for each one of these. As you can see, we'll go down the line. You have the tier one refractory bricks in that same pattern. You have the tier two in that same pattern. And you have the tier three again in that same pattern. Also too, to make the mortar, it's really easy. You just need to uh, create quick lime. You get quick lime from crushing limestones or chalk too, I believe. Well, let's just look that up. So you get quick lime from cooking down lime pieces. And then you use the quick lime to turn it into slacked lime, which you just add, uh, you add four quick lime and water in a barrel. 
and that will get you your slack lime. And there you go, the mortar and the bricks will create these for you. And again, remember these do not take any damage from heat, so you can just keep on rocking out it, uh, rocking out your oven over and over and over again. Now once you have made your bricks, you're going to need this bad boy right here, the Coke Oven Door. So the recipe will either take four iron ingots, which is not the recommended route to do, or the two iron plates, which is definitely the route that you want to go with. And you're going to either need bronze type tools or better to do this process. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to show you why two iron plates is going to be better than four iron ingots. All right, so we got our first iron ingot here. We're going to select the Coke Oven Door. And as you can see, that is a really crazy pattern right there. Let's go ahead and slap down our other blocks here as well. So I'm going to take this here and I'm just going to start whacking this up. All right, that's the third ingot on there. And as you can see, we still got quite a mess. So, I mean, you can just pop these bad boys down, do them nice and individually over and over and over again, like so. But then eventually you're going to need to add the fourth block. And again, we just have pixels everywhere. Voxels are going rampant. This is just a lot of smack and you're going to wear down your hammer. You're going to wear down your finger. This is a complete and utter pain. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Is that something you want to craft with right now? No, I didn't think so. So let's check these iron plates out. I'll show you why these are far, far superior. Right, so we got our iron plates. We'll go ahead and slap that down. Select the Coke oven door again. And as you can see, look, the pattern is already mostly done for us. So compared to that mess over there, we have a nice easy time for it. We can slap that other panel down. And look at that. This is all we have to do. We have to remove some of these outer pixels and move seven more little pixels into place. So the, the two iron plates is the far superior recipe compared to the two iron ingots. So that is definitely the recommended way to go. Take some time, make the plates. Trust me, you are going to thank me later. Okay, so once you have made your bricks and your oven door, you're gonna need to make the specific pattern for the oven itself. So it must be three by three by three. As you can see here, we have our base of three by three. And then as we move down the line, we can build it up so you can see here, we gotta make sure we leave a space in the middle, but we are going three high and three wide everywhere. Then of course, again, you need to leave the center open and an opening on the side. So the center is where you're gonna stack your coal, and then your door is gonna go right here, and that will look something like this. And if you do not use this Coke oven door that we just made, then it is absolutely not going to work. Now it is possible to share a wall with multiple ovens. So as you can see right here, we have three, our three ovens right there, then there, and there. So we're using a total of seven wide blocks and we're able to stack three ovens together. So when that's all said and done, it's gonna look something like this. You can see they each just have a wall between them. This will in fact work for creating your Coke. So, you know, you can downsize a little bit. You don't need to have so many tiny little ovens all over the place. You can just make one gigantic wall of ovens and you can carry this on down the line infinitely to make as many ovens as you want. Now also too, if you don't have enough of each resource, you can combine any type of the bricks to make it work. As you can see here, we have a tier three brick, a fire clay brick, a tier one, a tier two brick, and this oven here will work. As long as you're using one of those four specific bricks, even if they're all in combination, you, this can work to create a Coke oven. Now then the question you're all gonna be asking, can you chisel the ovens? Oh yeah, you can chisel the ovens. So as you can see here, I got a nice little design going on the top. We have our Coke in the middle right there. If you take a look at the tool tip up above, I did use this oven to create uh, our Coke with the chiseled roof right there. But now then, how far can we really take this, you're wondering? Well, listen here to your old papa and I'll tell you. Oh yeah, right here, every single block was chiseled on this. You can see we have our Coke in the center there, nice and cooked. We have a gap down below like that. And uh, yeah, this is a beautiful little oven. Every single block that is used in this, like I said, was chiseled. But you know what? I think we might be able to take this a little bit farther. Oh God, what is that? What is this? This can't work. Are you serious? I can see through this thing. There's no way this is an airtight chamber to make Coke. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and try this bad boy out. We have our black coal right here. Boom, place that down inside. Let's grab our torch. Smoke this bad boy up. All right, and look at this. So we even have them on the top. I was going to try and make this just one voxel thick, but that is a lot of chiseling. And honestly, this was a pain in the bum to make. 
So there is one caveat to this, this lower seat right here, this block. So I would recommend not putting holes in this one where the coal will sit because then it became, it can become rather difficult to actually place your black coal down. And I'll show you guys that here in a minute once our coke, ha coke has been completed making. And you can see the smoke lifting up the top of it. That's going to tell you that you are doing it correctly. So we're going to come here and we're just going to fast forward the clock a little bit. And is this, and smoke's gone. Uh-oh, that fire went out. Did we fail? Oh, look at that. We have 12 coke on the inside of this. <laughs> well, if you can call it an oven, but this will work. You can chisel every single thing out of this bad boy and you can still get your coke. But let me show you the one spot I recommend not chiseling. All right, so like I said before, this is the one spot you are not gonna wanna do. So let's pop a couple of holes in here and let's try and lay down our black coal. So as you can see, it is not working to lay down the coal. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna fill these holes back in. Now we can come here and place our coal back down. So if we take one little block out, yeah, it'll work. Let's take two little blocks out, works. Three blocks out, doesn't work. So again, that is the one block I would definitely recommend not messing with. But other than that, you can uh, you can go kind of nuts. So that's kind of neat. All right, so if you take a look here, we do have some beautiful oak blocks around our oven. So you can build the ovens into your houses. You know, it's not gonna mess up the process or anything. And every time you do this, it's gonna take 16 black coal and, or 16 brown coal. So you have a stack of 16 right here. We're just gonna crouch down. There we go, loading this up and there is 16 that is good to go and of course as you guys just saw with that uh, rinky dink oven we had over there with a swiss cheese as it were you're just going to crouch down light this sucker up boom look at that beautiful marvelous hot close that door you're going to watch for the smoke to come out and this may take a couple of seconds so if it doesn't start right away don't freak out open the door anything like that the smoke will come and that means you're doing it correctly just like the uh like if you're making a charcoal pit now the entire process, once you light the oven itself, it is going to take around 13 in-game hours to complete the coke. If you're using black coal, you're gonna get 12 coke once all is said and done. If you're using brown coal, you're gonna get eight coke from the process. Now, what if we, can we use charcoal? Well, what happens? Absolutely nothing. You put the charcoal in here, it just burns up and you get absolutely nothing. All you did was waste charcoal. Well, what about peat? Nope, again, nothing. It doesn't even light on fire. You just end up filling your brick your brick oven full of peat and it stays there. Now, what about firewood? That's gotta do something. Absolutely not. It doesn't even catch fire, stay lit, or anything of that nature. Now, when I was messing around to see if we could do the peat and the wood, I did find out some other cool stuff. So you can light all of these things on fire here, just out in the world, except for the peat bricks. So this is just gonna be a random little factoids for the day. So look at that, it absolutely went out. We do our firewood right here. Let's try and light that up. That catches fire just fine. We do our charcoal here. That catches up just fine. And these two will burn until they are absolutely destroyed, but the peat you can absolutely not ignite. You guys want a fun little factoid? Fire spreads. Neat. That's right, guys. Fire does spread. So if you, uh, you have a buddy that forgot to claim his land on your multiplayer server and, you know, maybe he stole your prize goat or something, well, you can run over to his house with a torch as long as, as long as it's made of wood and light that puppy on fire. And look at that. Look at it go. His house just went up in flames. That's what he gets for messing with your prized goat. I tell you what. So fire spreads. I did not know that until filming this tutorial. I just thought it was kind of cool and, uh, you know, figured you guys might be interested as well. And you can see our firewood is gone there now. This bad boy is going, uh, going strong and you will actually take damage from it because you will catch fire. Ouch. So before we go, guys, there's just one more thing I would like to mention. So to use each type of these bricks, you are going to need the following amounts of items. So for the clay bricks, you're going to be needing to use 832 fire clay, which is going to be 13 stacks of the clay and also 26 mortar. Now, if you're using refractory bricks, you're going to need 412 fire clay. So, you know, a little under half of the amount for the fire clay brick. So if you're short on fire clay, but you have all these other uh, materials and pulverizers, then refractory may be the way for you to go. But yes, you will need 412 fire clay, which equates to roughly six and a half stacks. 
Again, you'll need 26 mortar and then also 26 of each of the powdered material. So if you're doing the, the tier one blocks, you're gonna need 26 crushed quartz or and 26 crushed bauxite. And again, same with the olivine and the crushed ilmenite. So a lot, a lot of materials go into the creation of these things. And if you'd like to do multiple ovens, like our example over here, then you're gonna be needing to multiply those materials by quite an awful lot. So you're gonna be in for a lot of resource gathering to do this. And coke again is used in the steel making process in lieu of charcoal. So to me, honestly, it seems like charcoal is one heck of a lot easier. And uh, yeah, two heck of a lot easier. But you know what, this is a really fun process. Uh, you can make some really cool builds with it. You can also make some crazy Frankenstein ovens and some Swiss cheese ovens. So all in all, not too bad. And who knows, down the line in the future, they most likely will add more features for the Coke to be used for. So once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by. I hope this tutorial about Coke ovens was helpful to you. I am Papa Cheddar. And if you like today's tutorial, please think about subscribing to the channel. Leave a like or a comment and let me know about you know, what kind of crazy uh, Coke ovens you guys have chiseled up, because I know at least a few of you guys are going to be out there chiseling the chiseling the stuff out of your Coke ovens. All right, you guys, uh, thank you all for watching. I will see you later, and as always, I love you, bye.